There's a new AI tool that could turn a single text prompt into a complete video in seconds. Now this platform that I'm about to show you could write the entire script for you. It could create really human-like voiceover. It could find relevant video clips and images and add them to your story. It will create the captions, it will find music. It will literally handle all the different aspects of the video creation process. And it gives you control if you wanna make any changes to customize the video before you export it out of this platform to post on YouTube, TikTok, any other platform that you would like. And what's really cool about it, you could actually edit videos using this platform with a text prompt too. So to get started, I'll include a link in the description of this video. This is called InVideo AI. Now InVideo actually has been around for some time. I've been using it for years. It's a video creation platform. InVideo AI is the new platform that lets you basically do all this with AI. So just go ahead and try it for free. They do have a free trial. I'll explain the difference here between the free option and the paid option that I have. Now here's the InVideo AI platform. They made it super simple for complete beginners to create videos. So in this box, you could actually give it the description. It could be a single sentence here. I'll show you exactly how that works. And then you could press generate a video or you could be very complete. It has 3,600 characters here where you could get much, much more in depth on the description or the instructions for your video. And they have these things called workflows over here. So for YouTube shorts, for example, or for script to video, they have these options. I'll show you this in a second. Let me show you just from scratch with a single sentence how I could make a whole video. Now I'm gonna create an actual YouTube video here that I could post on a brand new channel and try to grow that channel. So let me start with this prompt. Create a video about top 10 destinations for a vacation in Europe. You could again say the length of the video, you could get a lot more detail. But for this first example, let me just go ahead and generate the video. Now that's all I have to do. Everything else, including the entire script, including all the different clips that need to go along with it, the voiceover, it's all gonna be done for me here using AI. And it gives you this pop-up here in the process to refine it. So it says, Europe unveiled top 10 vacation spots. The audience, who are you making this video for? Travel enthusiasts, that's what I wanna do, but you have some options here. What kind of look and feel do you want from it? Crisp, inspiring, or bright? I'm gonna actually choose inspiring here. And the platform, where do you wanna go with it? So in this case, I'm gonna go with YouTube here. I could also edit my prompt to give it more detail at this point but I like everything, I'm gonna press continue. So that's really all you have to do is make those selection to refine this for the right platform and the right audience and pick the look and feel of the video. Okay, so it took just about 30 seconds here and he made a video that's two minutes and 49 seconds long. Again, I could refine that if I wanna make YouTube shorts, for example, make them less than 60 seconds. I'll show you with workflows on how to do that in a second. But let me just press play without doing any editing to it then I'll show you the editing options and the workflow options. But I just wanna press play. I haven't even seen this video I just generated right now. Planning for a vacation but confused about the destination? Fear not as Europe holds a treasure trove of unique places waiting to be explored. From magnificent historical sites to stunning natural landscapes. Now that gives you a good idea what the script sounds like, what the AI voiceover sounds like. It chose music and it chose the different clips for us. And this watermark here, once you do upgrade to a paid plan, you could actually get this watermark removed, but it does license things from another platform here called iStock. But let's go ahead and press edit here because I wanna show you this page where you could basically edit everything, including the script. So right here, this is my script so far, and these are the different clips that is picked for me on top. So I could change both of those. I could change the text. And as you could see, what's highlighted here matches what the video clip is up here from iStock. It also uses video clips here from Storyblocks as well. So it does a combination, picks and chooses based on what is a good fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the script. And here you could see all the different sections of a script. You could make any changes. So if you wanted to change the beginning of it, and I just made the change, looking for the perfect European vacation, Europe holds a treasure trove of unique places. Okay, so you could do this with your entire video. You could go through it and change everything here that you see. And he also creates these chapter titles over here by default. So the first option that he gave us was Scotland. So if you wanna turn this off, you could actually go and delete this section, for example, and it won't have that title. And I'll no longer have a title here to go along with that. But with each chapter, it does create a title here that you could change. So if you wanna make any changes to the script, this is where you do it. If you press apply changes here, 
right there. It says changing the script, which will require it to change the voiceover, right? That was AI generated. And if you don't like that, I'll show you exactly how to swap that out. There's a really cool option right now that takes a few seconds. Okay, so that's done. Let me press play again. Looking for the perfect European vacation? Europe holds a treasure trove of unique places so that's the new change I just made. And in a few seconds, I got myself a different opening for the video. Now, let me go back to the edit page because if I don't like this drone shot that it chose for me in the beginning, also, I could change this as well. So right here, edit media, I have this select that I could choose any of these, select them. And down here, I could search for a different clip here. So maybe I wanna start with a clip of Rome here, right? So I could search for Rome and look at all these different options I get. Some are pictures, some are videos. I could hover over each one to see what I like. The ones that have a little video icon over here are the ones that are in video. So maybe I like this one. I could go ahead and press replace here and you see it overlaid it on top of the previous clip, basically replacing it. And as soon as I apply, that in a few seconds right here, it says changing media. So I changed the script, now I'm changing how it's gonna open to fully customize it. But give it a try, it's actually doing a really good job selecting really good images and videos. So this one only took a few seconds, I'll press play. Looking for the perfect European vacation? Europe holds a treasure- Okay, so that's pretty good. That's a really great option for a opening scene. Now, let me show you this box right here. It says, give me a command to edit the video. Yes, you could use a text prompt to make edits to the video too. So it says, delete the second seat. It's not relevant. It's giving you some options. Make the scene half the length. It's too wordy. Change the voiceover to older British voice. Let's try that. Let me generate this to see if I could switch the voiceover that I got the first time around. Okay, it took a few seconds. Let me press play. Looking for the perfect European vacation? Europe holds a treasure trove of unique places waiting to be explored. Wow, that's pretty good. Now let's do another one, make the music more epic. Let's generate that to change out the music. Now you could see the power of this. Not only did I generate an entire video here using one text prompt, now I can make edits to that, to the music, to the shot selection, to the voiceover with a text prompt too. Let me start a little further this time, let's press play. At number six, we have the Spanish city of Barcelona, known for its vibrant nightlife and unique architecture. Barcelona is a city that never sleeps. From the iconic Sagrada Familia to the bustling La Rambla. Wow, that's a very specific B-roll footage, a drone footage here I found, again, using story blocks. All this watermark is gonna get removed when I export the video. So you get the idea here on the different things you could do to make edits to your video. Again, remember on the edit page here, you could change out manually anything you want that you see. And you could also upload your own clips too. So you could choose one section here and upload your own clips if you shot something yourself, for example, and you just don't wanna use these stock footage selections. Now I'm gonna show you the workflow option in a second, but right now, if you just wanted to finish this video, you just have to press export and press export video here. And these are the options you have. So the option I have is the paid version. So I could do 1080p here. I could remove all the watermarks. So the stock watermarks are gonna remain in the free version, but you obviously, if you're posting this on YouTube or somewhere else, you wanna remove those. And the NVIDIA AI branding, I also, I'm going to remove those here. Again, you could have the subtle or the normal here. That's the little NVIDIA icon that shows up in the corner. And if you use iStock, which is a really premium stock library that it's using, it will be limited on how many you could use per month. But right now I've made a few videos and I've only used 11 different ones. And then I could go ahead and press continue here when I'm happy and it's just gonna go to work. So. You could do up to 15 minute videos as I'm recording this, by the way. So it doesn't have to be limited to the two, three minute video I just made. And in a lot of cases, I wanna make short content. So I'm gonna go under 60 seconds. I'll show you a more storytelling video here that I just made. What if the world you know is nothing but an elaborate illusion? In a world where the sun never sets, where seasons don't change, and where people live in a monotonous loop, Alex stumbles upon a chilling truth. The world he knows, the world we all know, is nothing but a grand deception. Pretty cool, right? Now, anytime I could press these three lines and come to the homepage and everything I've created here, I could download from here. So I'll open this one right here. And if I wanna download it right here, the download option is available. I could press download and it's downloading to my computer. From there, I could upload to YouTube or my favorite social media platform. 
Now, let me create another video here. I want to show you briefly how these workflows are. So right here, you could choose YouTube Shorts and it gives you a little bit more here before you get started. So you don't have to just type in a simple text prompt. It's going to give you a little bit more information to choose based on the type of selections that you want with voiceover or subtitles, for example. So it says create a YouTube short about. So I'm going to say a brief history of Earth and it says use a male voice or female voice. Let's start with female here again with that text prompt. I could change that very quickly. Any type of voice so clear American voice or if you want any kind of accents, you could go ahead and do that. I'll choose clear American voice subtitles. Do I want to show them or hide them in social media posts, especially short form? You always want to show them to keep attention. And then it says, do you want to use iStock? See, that's the premium option you have that it chooses for you. But if you don't want that or you want to limit the amount of credits you use, you don't have to use it. So you could just choose not to. In this case, I'm going to say use iStock as you normally would. That's it. I'm going to press continue here and right here. Create a YouTube short about a brief history of Earth setting. Use a female clear American voice. Show subtitles in the video. So this kind of shows you with that workflow how you could basically create your prompts to start with and then you don't have to use those type of workflows at all. And I'm going to press create here. Again, it's going to bring me to the page where I want to choose my audience. So maybe do I want this for students? If I'm a teacher, if I just want to go broad and teach general public with a YouTube channel or history enthusiast. In this case, let me go general public look and feel this time. I'll just stick with the minimalistic modern here and YouTube shorts is the platform because this time I chose the workflow. So I don't have any options because I chose that in the very beginning. I could press continue. I could watch it again. This sometimes just takes a few seconds up to a few minutes depending on the length. OK, as you can see, this one is in vertical format because short platforms like TikTok and YouTube shorts are in vertical It's 55 seconds. I'll start in the middle here to see what we got. Let me go ahead and press play. From the majestic blue whale to the tiniest ant, from the towering redwoods to the delicate lily pads, Earth's history is a story of change and survival. It's a tale of ice ages and warm periods, of continents shifting and mountains forming. It's a narrative of life's ten. Okay, pretty good. So this one, if I want to edit, I actually didn't like this clip here, so I could select this clip, search for another Earth shot. It made sense to show Earth, but I don't like that it's on a green screen here. And I could look at any of these other options and replace it very quickly. So let's see, this one is pretty good. And I'll select that and then I'll apply. It'll take a few seconds. It'll make those changes. And again, with that text prompt, maybe I want an older female voice. So I'm going to ask for an older female voice. The music was OK, but I'm going to ask for something more upbeat. And in just a few text prompts, I'm going to get a complete video here that I could post to YouTube Shorts. Again, if I'm happy, I could go ahead and export the video using this option right over here. So you could get started completely for free with NVIDIA AI. If it's a good fit and you're serious about video creation, you obviously want to remove the watermarks here so you could publish them on YouTube or other platforms. So I recommend checking it out and then upgrading. And these are the selections I usually pick in my export 1080p. That's high quality HD, no watermarks when I'm using iStock or story blocks here that shows the watermark that will remove everything. And then I also remove the NVIDIA AI branding that shows up in the corner and then I press continue. And basically I get all my videos that I'm posting on this new channel done this way. And I'm experimenting with a lot of different ideas that are now possible. The paid plans start at as low as $20 a month. I'd like to thank them for sponsoring this video. Very exciting tool. I hope you found it useful as well and I'll see you next time.